Hi everyone, welcome to my channel and today I'm going to start another new vision novel. This one's called Look of Love and it's by Front Wing and it's new to the point where the actual version is not out yet. So I'm playing the demo version that, that just got released and you can tell by the four letters D-E-M-O on the top right corner of the screen. So in a sense, I'm not really sure what the story is about. I'm kind of confused about the synopsis, and I guess it's something to be surprised about. But I'm picking it up because it's done by the same people that have done some of the other vision novels I've played on this channel. Innocent Girl, Yuki Koi Melt, and Corona Blossom. And I do know at least the character design is the same. Nana Kamai, she did the characters for those four games including this one. And I think the story writer also did Yuki Koi Melt. And I know the artist or the singer for the opening, Duka, she also sang the opening for Yuki Koi Melt. And while that game is about winter, I'm thinking that this game is about summer. So I'm going to go ahead and start. And this is in English, so I won't have to use any kind of translators. But I'm going to be taking out all the soundtrack because for some reason Front Wing their soundtracks whenever I play them it comes to the copyright sticker so I'm going to try to use some other soundtrack I'm not sure yet as of this recording but you'll hear it as I start so let's go ahead and click start on here Okay. Hmm. Forget it. Okay, so our main character's name is Ichitaro. So when Yachio tries to hand me the charm, I dismiss it with a wave of my hand. So apparently, I think the problem here is about like um the people that believe in good luck charms. And it's like well, okay, so he tells her I'm I'm fine. No, I'm not really interested in that sort of stuff. So like um well, people they rely on charms because um charms will help them grant their wish. And I wonder why. If you deny a charm that makes you like a kid. Wait, are you the, really the one that who should be telling me that? Um Well never mind. I've said too much. It's not your fault you're so short for your age. Okay, so it's like, well, I'm, so she's older than the main character, and it's like, well, you look small for your age. Okay. Well, it's not like I imagine, or I'm against them or anything, but, well, she manages to force this confession out of me. It's like, well, you're at the age where it's, t like, um, maybe time for re relationships and such. But isn't it natural to be interested in relationships at this age? There you go. Well, you know, I'm living by myself now, you know. It's like, well, I'm growing up, I'm living away from parents, I have my own house. And it's like, well, um, my parents are overseas. Well, um, they're coming back next year at the earliest, so I can't help but think, um... Yeah, it's like, uh, well, then again, um, your parents coming home has nothing to do with you getting into relationships. Well, I could invite a bunch of girls over to my place if I wanted to. 
Well, that sounds wrong. That sounds kind of questionable. Hey, uh, well, you're the one who asked, right? Uh, yeah, that sounds wrong. Um, having all these girls over, um, that means problems. Why no? I wasn't going to ask you to, um, Yachio. And obviously when he says, like, well, I wasn't interested in inviting you in the first place. Obviously he basically turns around and says, like, well, that means I'm such a person that nobody wants. Or I'm this person that nobody would ever ask me out for. I'm unpopular. Well, no, 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 that's not what I meant. It's just that you're way too prim and proper for stuff like that. But then again, if you have someone like her over, it really isn't going to be as bad as, well, you know. But it's like, well, maybe a charm will help you at the stage. Maybe. Well, then again, I don't really think Ichitaro believes in charms, so it's like, well, why would I need a charm? And it's like, well, maybe that charm will bring me bad luck. Well, I haven't been here in the ages, but even I've heard of those rumors. Okay, so this is the Tsukikawa Shine Shrine. Achio's father is the head priest here. And the deities enshrined here are said to be two couples, which is why people have worshipped them as gods of love, matchmaking, and relationships for as long as anyone can remember. But recently, there have been rumors that say it's the exact opposite. So it's like, well, people have been trying to worship or hoping for a good future, good fortune, good love, good relationships, but apparently what they got is the opposite of that, so bad luck. And supposedly couples who visit the shrine together are destined to break up. There you go. So they go, well, eventually they lead to fights and divorce the such. And this charm is said to ward off potential partners. So they go, well, this charm is basically to guarantee that stuff like this is going to happen again. And even if you're not in a relationship, any advances you try to make are bound to end in failure if you have this. So I wonder how Yachia is going to try to convince people that, um, well, things gonna, are going to turn around for the better going forward. But then again, um, it's going to be hard given that um, the reputation of this place is pretty bad. Well, then it gets like, oh, maybe the priests are angry and that's why stuff like this is happening, so we're supposed to be pleasing them and maybe we'll do something wrong on our end. Well, doesn't that thing have the opposite effect? It'll keep me from doing things that I otherwise might have accomplished. So you do believe in it, right? So um, the reason you're, re you're rejecting my charm is because you know that's going to bring bad luck. Why not? In, I said that I'm not into stuff like that, but maybe I'm kind of curious after all. So he's going to try one out, even though he knows that it has a really bad track record. Not sure what she means by parishioners. Well, I'm only a member of the shrine because my parents are. Well, but I do kind of feel bad for giving you too much attitude since you're the daughter of the priest here. So she must have simply meant to give me a good luck charm for love. But then again, how would she ensure that it's a good luck charm? Well, maybe those sort of things are kind of nice after all. Yeah, I guess. So what is she thinking of right now? Uh-huh. So I wonder if you have already have some girls that are interested in coming to your place. Uh, well, not that I know of. Besides, I wasn't really serious about it anyways.
So I wonder why she keeps asking questions like this. She keeps probing him all these different questions like, um, so you're leaving alone and wouldn't have people over, um, but what kind of people you have over? Well, I'm a teenage boy, of course I would like to have a girlfriend I could do stuff with. And I'm fortunate enough to have my own place. I don't have to worry about what my parents might think, but I can do whatever I want. Uh-oh. Well, you think that I have everything to set up perfectly, however. Well, I've only had the courage to take the first step. Well, that's probably the one thing that keeps... That's keeping me from getting a girlfriend. So you need some encouragement, I see. Not that much. I really do, but I'm still struggling to make my first move. That's true. I think the first step is always the hardest. Oh. So I forgot to offer my prayers. On the way home, suddenly remember. Well, my parents have always told me that I should make sure to pay my respects to the gods whenever I visit the shrine. And I think he forgot because um that she interrupted him. There you go. Yeah, she interrupted me. She distracted me, so I forgot. So I considered turning back for a moment, but eventually I decided against it. Well, it's still early, but I've already walked quite. A ways. I just want to go home and take a shower eventually, well, especially considering who my partner is for today, for today's shift. I have a part-time job at the service industry, so I need to make myself presentable to the customers as well. That's true. Thinking, well, it's already September, but it's still hot enough to make me sweat. I can't show up to work looking like this. Like, well, if I smell funny, I'm going to scare customers away and it's going to ruin the reputation of my workplace. I'll just have to apologize to the god and make sure to pay my respects next time. Well, I'm not sure if... Well, it really depends on how much you believe. Sometimes people believe that um, if I skip one day of prayer, the god's going to get angry and it's going to be really hard to turn around. Well, we'll see. Hmm... So it's unusually noisy today. Some people come running past me with their smartphones in hand. And they're shouting something about an explosion. So what happened? I actually hear the sirens as well. Hmm. So has there been an accident somewhere? And noise is coming from the direction of my place. The closer I get to my home, the louder the sirens get. Uh... Well, it couldn't be. Really? Okay, so what's happening? Okay, apparently something happened at the place where Ichitara lives. And Lan was like, oh, I'm sorry. Wait, what? Wait, you seriously can't be telling me that something is wrong at my apartment building? No way, don't tell me because I didn't pray today. He's like, oh, well maybe the gods are upset that um, I didn't do my prayers so now they're punishing me by causing some trouble at my apartment. And, or maybe like, uh, maybe he, it's because of that charm that he got from... I forgot her name, it starts with a Y. And it gave him bad luck. So half an hour later, I'm at total loss. So, um, who would have thought that this could happen? Apparently the old pipes in my building had deteriorated so much that my that they suddenly burst. Okay, so apparently the pipes got old and it bursted open and I, his apartment is flooded with water. And at least he doesn't have any injuries. And... The landlord said that he would pay back for any damages. So he said that he was going to have all the pipes replaced and gonna, he's going to use this opportunity to remodel the rest of the building. I guess I should be grateful, but I won't be able to stay in my apartment while the construction is in progress. That's true. And plus, 
because the apartment got flooded, it's considered safe because um the frame, the wood. I think they use concrete in Japan, so um the supports, those are all weakened. They all got water damage, so apparently it's now unsafe for Ichitaro to live in there. So like he has to find some other place to live while they fix his apartment up. In the meantime, we model it and turn it into a brand new apartment with all the modern facilities. So this part reminded me of a video that I saw where a guy tried to fix a leaky faucet while the water is still running, all the valves turned on. And he thought it was going to be a simple task, just change out the old faucet, hook it up to the new faucet. But then when he disconnected the old pipes, or the old faucet from the main supply lines, the water was gushing at him at high pressure and it was the hot water slice. So it was hot water, high pressure, and even though they had a vacuum, a water vacuum on the side to help them vacuum up all the excess water, the amount of water that was coming out from the pipe it was way too much and it was starting to damage the subfloor, the carpet, the resilient flooring, the walls, and the end result was that the tenant had to move out because the apartment was deemed unsafe to live in. But anyways, um, he's gonna have to find some other place to stay now. Well, they said that they had places that could stay in the meantime, but the closest one is an hour away. So maybe an hour away from work. Well, there goes my convenient 10 minute commute. I know I can't be picking the situation, but still... It is a little depressing. On top of that, even though they're starting construction tomorrow morning, they won't have my new place ready until tomorrow night. Which means I'll be finding my own place to stay tonight. Ah, uh, well I guess I should call my parents, but then again, the, the time difference is 13 hours. Well, I think it's like more like 15 hours or 16 hours, but... So it's still the middle of the night for them. Or maybe I should call the head priest first. He's the one acting as my guardian while my parents are away. Well, either way, I'll grab my phone. And let out a gasp when I notice the time. Okay, so I think I'm, after all this commotion, he's now running late for work. There you go. So I hesitate for a moment. Hmm, this is an emergency. Should I really be considering just going to work like normal? Well, I think um, he might be able to explain to the boss about what happened. Like, um, he had an emergency in the apartment, so... Um, there was something that came in the way and he had to show up late. And maybe the boss will accept it. And I don't think he should be concerned about his salary at this point. It's like, oh, um, if I miss a few minutes of work, I'm gonna lose out on my earnings. And about the um, well, the expenses, I'm pretty sure um, the landlord will have to compensate the tenant somehow, given that the damage in the building is the fault of the landlord. But it's like, oh, well, there's another reason I want to show up on time, and it's because I want to be with person. So after a moment of deliberation... Okay, I'm sorry I'm late. So he rushes into his workplace. So I decided to put off calling my parents, or Yachio, oh, so that's her name, for now, and headed toward my workplace. Okay, so this is the person that he wants to work with. Uh, her name is Hiwa. Oh, I'm sorry, um, I'm late, Kojika. Ah, flowers. So my ship today is with Kojika, and it's just the two of us. So I wonder if the, um, the store manager or, like, the owner is around. Maybe not. Oh, yeah, he is. So, um, he's busy making cakes. So if they just show up, Kojika will have to serve all the customers by herself. And though to be honest, I really feel like I should be concerned with things other than work right now. That's true. Well, sometimes if you talk about what happened to your owner, the owner's just going to send you home like, well, go get your problems fixed before you come to work because you're not going to be able to do well today. I want you to be more focused about that disaster that just happened. 
So, I'll give you a day off and go get that fixed before you come back in work. But then it gets like, a, well, I want to see her, I want to work with her, so it's really more like, a, well, I shouldn't pass up this opportunity. We got to go to the same school, but we finished different years, so we rarely see each other outside of work. And once again, it's like, oh, well, my eyes are not actually drawn to her breasts. They're as big as ever today, despite her small frame. Um, I really should be, should be thinking about these things for now. Uh, well, what? And I think he can sense that um, he's hiding something, like the disaster. Uh, yeah. Oh, okay, so it's like, um, well, I didn't get a chance to shower before coming over, so um, I'm kind of worried about the smell. I should probably just tell her about what happened to my apartment, but we're working right now, and I don't want to create an awkward atmosphere. And for some reason, she's going to take a sniff on the main character. Hey, you don't have to check. It's like, well, um, I don't smell anything, so you should be alright. And I think it's like, well, you're behind the counter. Or like, you're behind the um, counter and the um, refrigerator, so... I'm pretty sure the customers aren't going to be this close to you and be able to sniff all that. Okay, um, well, that's good to know, I guess. And she's being happy as ever. Oh, I'm counting on you, senpai. Okay, thanks. I'm glad to have decided to come and work after all. My heart's being crazy, and it's because I got to be so close to Kojika. Wait, why am I such a hopeless romantic? Okay, welcome. Hmm. Oh no, this is bad. I'm having trouble focusing on my job. So now what else is wrong? Okay, so he's still concerned about that damage. Like, um, well, where am I supposed to sleep tonight? Well, I can't stop those thoughts from running through my mind, and it's causing me to space out constantly. But, well... So uh, while he was basically talking to the customers about all her special, all the specialty items, Ichitaro's focused about, oh, well, where am I gonna be? What am I gonna do about the apartment situation? So Kojika usually takes the lead when we're serving customers together, so I'm mostly fine for now. But then again, Ichitaro should be um, taking some of the orders as well instead of leaving it all to Kojika. I really like that sales tactic. Like, well, it's really good. It's really good. Um, I know um we aren't really like the pie experts, but um, it tastes good. And apparently that sales pitch worked. Okay, so I'll buy them. Hmm. She's so cute and personable, and she's generally happy whenever a customer enters the shop. Well, thanks to her friendly attitude, she's extremely well liked among the customers. Even her name, Hiwa, sounds bright and cheerful. It's written using the characters for Sun and Harmony. Well, even though she joined us at the shop fairly recently, she's already become some sort of poster girl here. Well, there's one thing though. Ah, 
Well, what's wrong with that? Well, I think the problem is that she's talking way too much to the customer. But then again, it's supposed to be a good thing. Uh-oh. So I think the customer's asking a little too much. Like, um, well, I want special candles. I want a nice birthday cake. Um, I want it all custom. And I wonder if the store is able to handle that. And Hiwa doesn't, or Hiwa Kojika doesn't seem to know. So she's only worked here for a few months, so she's not completely familiar with all the policies we have. And if, so if they don't, are not able to have custom candles, I wonder how she's going to politely decline to the customer. Well, given that, I really shouldn't rely on her as much as I do. Okay, so let's go ahead and call the manager. I'll see what he has to say. Oh, it's fine. So apparently Ishitaro comes in and says, like, well, we can do custom candles. So, are you really sure? So I suggested to Hiwa that I'll take it over from here. While taking her place at the counter, I show the candle section in our catalog. To go, okay, so we do have custom candles as an option, and here's all the choices that you can order. Hmm, so what stuff candles are you looking for? We have a wide selection. Okay, this is the big problem. To go, well, these are not what I'm looking for. So I wonder if he's gonna have the customers. I go, well, why don't you give me some ideas about what you're looking for? Like, uh, maybe draw it out on paper. Well, I see, I apologize, but anything other than these will have to be custom made, which doesn't, which does cost extra. So how much is gonna be extra? For a child? Okay, and so in that case, why don't we try putting the uh, 1 and 0 together? So uh, we happen to have one of each left in stock. So go, well, we can have um, one can that says 10 versus two candles, like a 1 and a 0. So maybe that'll save on the cost. So if you want your twins to blow out the candles together, that'll be great. Plus, when you look at, back at the photos, it'll be easy to tell what the occasion was. Well, at least this customer is reasonable, and he, she's trying to cooperate with Ichitaro to make the candles that she wants for the birthday cake. So I can add these for free. Oh, even better. So they go, okay, so how about we do it this way and this will, um, it'll be free and it's easy to make. And she seems to accept it. Okay, I understand. We'll put them aside for you. Kojika? Okay, so um, here's your apple pie. It's all ready to, and good to go. Hmm, so she needed packed them in a box while I was talking to the customer. Okay. I do like how the customer is being reasonable about um, her custom order because um, I know I remember I worked at a motel in the past and apparently some customer gets so reasonable so not only do they want something custom they want it free and they even want it, like a, a bonus so like um, the motel pays back to them and then they use a whole menu list of reasons why and usually based on the manager's um, experience he's like well customers that make too many demands customer requests they're always the ones that cause the most trouble 
and does have a few of the people on his blacklist, which I'm not going to go too far about. But at least I'm like, well, if I see a small Hewa, maybe um, that kind of helps leverage a deal between the customer and the shop. And it's good that um, Jitaro comes and helps Hiwa, given her limited experience working at the shop. Well, I'll teach you about custom orders later. Looks like um, we have another customer coming in. Okay, so I'll go in the back again and heave a deep sigh. Well, we really have more important things to think about than teaching her right now. That's true. Okay, good job today. So it's now night time. So I'm on, I'm on my way home after my shift. And so my home isn't in any condition to return to. Well, the landlord said he'll contact me tomorrow, so I guess I'll call my parents first. So I wonder if his parents are awake, because I'm pretty sure around this time, it's early morning in the U.S. Well, they'll probably be mad at me for not contacting them sooner. I know I should have, so I feel kind of guilty. Well, then again, I'm pretty sure um, a few hours won't make a difference, given that going from afternoon to night, it's only about a few hours, so I'm pretty sure the parents will be able to reason like, well, at least you contacted us ASAP or I'm um, not way too late. But then again, he still feels kind of, um, oh, I'm dread. The dread. I just wish I could go back to my normal day late, daily life. That's one of the reasons why I decided to go to work as usual. Honestly, it was also a way to escape from reality for a while. But then again, when he was working, he kept Going back to that second, well, what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do about my living situation. Okay, so I should, I should call. Whoa. So I almost tripped, but I managed to catch myself before the fall. That was close. I totally failed to notice that bump in the road. Ha. Huh. I sink to the ground and let out another sigh. Hmm. Today has been a total disaster. What if I haven't seen the last of it yet? I kind of wonder, like, well, is it because I didn't go pray to the gods and now the gods are punishing me for not serving them? There you go. So, as I'm deliberating what to do. And he hears Hiwa for some reason. I wonder why she's here still. So I stand up and turn toward the source of the voice that I just heard. <sighs> so what's going on? Oh, I'm sorry about that. Um, I was just spacing out. So anyways, um, what's up, Kojika? Okay, that's good. So she politely bows her head to me. Hmm. Such a, such a diligent girl. Oh, I see. Thanks for following me all the way here just to say that. Well, you shouldn't have. Um, well, you can, we can always do it at another shift. Though I should apologize so well. That could have been avoided if somebody had taught you the proper procedure beforehand. Well, I'm pretty sure you teach little by little at a time. And it's like, uh, well, um, she's trying to get used to the other things that we taught her, so I think it's okay that um, we hold back on some of the uh, more complicated orders until she's ready for it. And it makes sense because, like, well, custom orders are very rare, so um, it's good to be trained on some of the more common situations first before we deal with the custom things. And that's probably why Ichitaro is here, it's like, well, you should try to on some of the more special orders while you just focus on the um, easy ones. And then again, um, Ishitaro's like, well, you're not really that great 
Or like you're not fully trained on custom orders as well, so. It just happens so rare that, that the manager probably say, well, it's not worth teaching you that. Hmm. Did you really say that? He never left. Well, he's never that, that specific when it comes to praising me. All he ever says is like, um, he just counted on me. But then again, behind your back, he's really proud of how you work, so. And apparently he handles some really difficult situations very well, so. Apparently the manager seems to enjoy that. Well, um, you know, customers always like it when Kojika serves then. You're quickly becoming the poster girl around here, you know? <laughs> and that sounds kind of big for, um, what I really feel like. Well, it's not just that. The customers really like you, so they're really happy when you are when you serve them at the counter. It works out better for me that way, too. Hmm. You're just the best person for the job. Simple as that. Hmm, <laughs> that might be true. So she accepts my compliment with a smile. Hmm, it's the one of the things that make her who she is. A cute and friendly and well endowed girl. And it makes perfect sense that she's liked by the customers. Hey, me. So I wonder what she's thinking of right now. Uh, Kojika? So I break out into a cold sweat. She's really a good girl, always smiling, but... For some reason, she sometimes glares at me as if she hates my guts. So, what did she notice? Okay, so she did... She did pick up on the fact that I'm like, well, I did see a spacing out, and I kind of wonder what's going on. Oh, um, yeah, I'm sorry. And that's why I can't take the first step. Well, to be honest, I kind of have the hots for her. Well, I wish I could get closer to her. Maybe we can start as friends, and eventually I can ask her out. We can hang outside of work and go on dates and stuff, and... And while our boobs are sort of a mismatch for a short frame, I really want to squeeze them, suck on them, and... That certain expression gives me the... Gives me, stops me from approaching her that way. And it always makes me wonder if I did anything or said something to offend her. Especially since she's always smiling until a moment ago. Hmm, well girls are, are so complicated, I can never tell what they're thinking of. And on top of that... You even forgot to shower before you work, so... So I think I'm, he was like, well, I've been analyzing you and I kind of pick up on all sorts of things, so I wonder if there's something bothering you. The fact that you didn't have time to shower before you come to work and when you were working, you were thinking about something else, so... I'm pretty sure there's something that's bothering you. Well, um... Okay, so she asks... The magical question to Ichitaro. Hmm. So I wonder how girls can be so perspect or perceptive. Uh, sorry. I know I shouldn't let my personal issues affect my job, but. Well, if it if it is affecting you, it's probably really that bad, and it's to the point where you can't concentrate. So it has to be something that's bothering you really badly. So Kojika gives me the glare again. Hmm, the look of hers makes me feel extremely anxious. I'm trying to pretend that everything's okay, but it seems like I can't stick to that act at this point. Okay, um, yo, so you see, um... 
So I give in and decide to tell her everything that happened to me today. So, um, the apartment damage. And maybe that'll stop, or she'll stop glaring me that way. So that's the gist of it, basically. So he tells her everything. He's like, um, my apartment got damaged, I got water damage, and I don't know where to stay for tonight. And the landlord can't give me a new room until, like, the following day. So what does he uh, have in response? Well, nope, I guess that didn't work. Hmm. Made my story only annoyed her even more, I can't help but notice that her expression has grown even more stern. Yeah, I really don't know what the heck I'm doing anymore. So now what does she have for Ijitaro? So she still looks at, at me and yells. She stared at me directly in the eye, her eyebrow scrunched together. Well, she's got plenty of reason to yell at me. Or so I thought, but apparently I was wrong. So what did she have to say to Ichitaro? <laughs> Interesting, it's like, oh, so um, if you don't have any place to stay, how about you stay at my place? Um, uh, and I'm pretty sure that was shock Ichitaro. They come. Like, um, wait, they just they hear wrong. Huh? Okay, so apparently I'm gonna leave that answer to next episode. So for some reason. It looks like, um, I'm not sure what he was thinking of, but she did pick up on all the problems that Ishitaro had during his work today. And out of the blue, she just comes up with, oh, so if you don't have a place to stay, your apartment got damaged by flood, how about you stay in my place? And I wonder if that was what she was thinking of. Like, I wonder why she would come up with that kind of offer, because obviously that was shock Ishitaro. But anyways, then, we're going to see what happens next, and what Ishitaro is going to say. Well, I'm pretty sure he's going to accept it, given that it's probably his chance that the gods gave him to be closer to a girl. Compared to, well, we know that the problem is that um, he really wants a girlfriend, but he gets nervous and really can't approach one. So with that in mind, I'll see you in the next episode.